hello you all welcome to my channel if you are a returning subscriber what's good if you are new hey boo i am back with another video so i'm not gonna waste too much time i'm just gonna hop straight into the video and y'all see the title don't fall for intimidation tactics used to stop you from exposing a wicked spirit okay I may shorten the title, but I think we're just going to roll with that. Now, this is a video topic that has been sitting on my spirit for a while. And I was really going back and forth with whether I should do this video now or should I wait or should I, you know, I've been talking to the Lord about a lot of things and really just having this back and forth with this topic. Because when it comes to coming to put out specific things you got to be really precise these days so that you don't get caught up in everything else that's going on you don't get caught up in a rat race you don't get caught up in certain things that really isn't of the lord it's just kind of like in a sense the way you feel as though you are having to shift through a lot of distractions like it's like going through that file of papers you going through all you trying to find this one important file that you need for something and you got to shift through all these different papers that's how it is out here with the spiritual warfare when it comes to the distractions you have to be able to shift through all of that to get to the important matter at hand but when it comes to this whole thing of exposing spirits where i made a video a while back about don't be afraid to call out an evil spirit and i stand true to that on my channel now before i even get into this message let me just say when it comes to exposing a wicked spirit, it's going to be totally different. And it's a difference between somebody making an error. It's a difference between somebody making a misjudgment. They are unknowing of certain things. And so they make a mistake. It's a difference with that. And a difference between a, a person knowingly operating in a wicked spirit. Okay. And when I talk about this. I'm talking about people that's coming out here professing certain things and they are deceiving people. Okay. I've been keeping quiet about this topic for a long time because like I told y'all before, I'm not trying to get caught up with all this stuff, but I keep seeing it to where people are really being deceived out here. And I'm not one of those type of people that really like to just sit back and watch people get played on get used get taken advantage of it's something about watching a person being screwed over mentally that just does something to me i can't sit back and watch it it's, it's only so long before i say something and so trust and believe this video has been something that i've been going back and forth with a lot i have been asking the lord lord should i make a video about this should i talk about this how should i word this i don't want this to come out the wrong way but you need to expose a wicked spirit when it comes to this whole thing of exposing it's gonna feel as though you are getting a strong pulling it's if you need to take your emotions out of it and serve a purpose you are trying to help this person you trying to stop this person they about to cross the street they got their headphones on they don't see this truck coming and you trying to go and pull this person back before they get hit by this truck that's basically what it is you want to take your emotions and feelings out of the situation and serve a purpose to help someone else when it comes to exposing certain things and not in a malicious way not in a way to where things can get confused and misconstrued that type of exposure exposure in a way to where it is helpful and not hurtful if y'all catch my drift the enemy knows a lot of things okay i told y'all before that evil spirits are very knowledgeable in certain areas when it comes to spirituality and so when you are walking a certain path and you are walking you are trying to live upright with the lord it's gonna bother you to see wicked spirits out here trying to camouflage themselves in a sense i made a video a while back about metamorphic spirits i may link that video with this one just so y'all could get a better understanding of this message and i just be feeling like the lord just be telling me you don't need to be concerned about that okay you need to do what i have called you to do which is warn the people okay and so basically when it comes to exposing wicked spirits what i keep on seeing in my mind with this message is 
warning people that it's a wolf among the sheep, okay? The one deceptive thing about what's going on out here in the world with the influence is a lot of these wolves are looking more like sheep. They look like the real thing. They sound like the real thing. It's really hard to decipher the difference between what is what. Even the wise ones are being deceived, okay? But when it comes to trusting the Lord and Him revealing certain things to you, it's certain things that you just cannot pass off. It's certain things that you just cannot unsee. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all understand where I'm coming from when it comes to seeing certain things and certain spirits on people. You may not be as vocal all the time about certain things that you see, but when you see certain things and hear certain things from some people, it's going to blow your mind. It's going to just make you just see things completely different on a spiritual level. And this is why it's really important for you to get a better standing of the word because the Lord is the only common denominator against wickedness. No information and knowledge is going to be obtainable when you do not follow him. When you follow him, it's going to be so many things being revealed to you. Peace, bad peace, bad peace, bad peace. Like I said before, it's just like being in the classroom and you getting your lessons. When it comes to being on this walk with Christ, it's just kind of like being in class. You know, how much heavily invested are you in on this lesson? Are you really paying attention to the teacher or are you distracted? It's so many distractions out here. And a lot of these distractions are looking like the real thing. Okay. The only one that you need during these times is Lord himself. And really, when you see people doing certain things, This is how you are going to know that you are growing stronger with Christ is when you see people doing certain things like they may be directing certain things to you or you may see that they are doing certain things to other people or you see that they are fooling the flock. OK, and you want to say something so bad, but you like, you know what? This is why people get caught up in certain things. Okay, because they don't go to the Lord himself. They don't read their word. They depend on other people for confirmation. And this is how people are being led astray today. And sometimes you may get to a point to where you may be like, and really, whoever is listening to this, you may not even have a platform. But when you see a lot of things out here going on in the world spiritually with people being fooled, you might have said and said to yourself like i really want to warn this person and say something but if this person don't see for themselves to go read their word and get grounded and rooted in their relationship with the lord whatever comes upon them that's really on them it's only so much you can tell a person you can't be the dead horse okay when it comes to being on this walk you can't spoon feed nobody on this walk it's going to be the ones that's going to get it and the ones that don't you know some people they don't care about being led astray they only just want to be cater to they only want to hear what's good and so it's only so much and so far you are going to be able to get with people like that you know sometimes you got to let people fall and hit their head sometimes you may have to let them keep on touching the hot stove when they know that it's hot and so basically when it comes to you putting out certain things it's been a plenty of times where i kind of got it heavy in my spirit to where i wanted to say certain things or point out certain things and come and make a video about it but i always had the lord can stop me and be like no let them learn for themselves let them figure it out on their own they are going to know that they need to come to me at the end of the day let them fall and hit their face don't you say nothing okay but when it comes to exposing and calling out a wicked spirit that is when you have probably got warning from lord that might have told you okay now it's time for you to speak now it's time for you to say something because here's the thing don't think for one second that these spirits out here that's operating freely with a wickedness a lot of these people out here that's operating in this kind of spirit when it comes to deceiving people they are not the worldly kind of people that you see out here. You know a worldly spirit when you see one. Those things are clear as day. But we're talking about these spirits out here trying to profess to be of the Lord. 
these are the more craftier can of spirits that y'all need to be aware of. And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have caught wind of this, okay? I ain't saying nothing that y'all ain't probably thought or said y'all self or had the Lord himself even confirm to y'all, okay? We've been in class. We've been learning our lessons. We've been paying attention, okay? Everybody else been off doing their own thing. and We've been the ones that's been paying attention to the Lord. <laughs> so, basically... When it comes to these kind of spirits, it's kind of tricky. And when it comes to their craftiness, because these people don't think that they don't know that the Lord is going to get ready to make his rounds when it comes to this judgment out here. Okay. And I'm going to take it back to the beginning where I said that we are all going to make mistakes. Okay. Some of us may make a mistake unknowingly. But when a person out here, these spirits that are professing things up out of their mouth, but they are not walking it like they talk it, they are operating completely different behind the scenes. And when I say behind the scenes, I mean who they are spiritually on the inside. It's not what you see on the outside. These people are operating knowingly in what they are doing. You know what I'm saying? This is why it's so many people out here and it's so crazy because you have to go into intricate details with explaining this thing so you can get a better vision of how you see this. Because when it comes to talking about spirituality, you can't see spirit. So you have to explain it in a way to where you can really understand and see what I'm talking about when it comes to this thing. When I say these spirits are crafty, if you do not have a close relationship with the Lord. If you are not heavily rooted in your Bible, in your word, I'm sorry to say, you are going to be going up against a lot with the spiritual warfare out here if you are not walking with the Lord fully. Okay? The Lord is making his rounds with this judgment out here with these people. And I've been seeing it a lot. Okay? Don't think for one second that these spirits are not going to up the ante on you. Evil spirits do not like to be exposed. I told y'all this before. They are always trying to hide behind people. And I said in my video where I talked about do not be afraid to call out and expose evil spirits. When I say when you are operating with the Lord fully, it's going to feel as though it's really something outside of yourself, something that is uncontrollable. It's going to feel as though you don't see this person's physical appearance. All you see is the spirit that is on them. Okay. Remember, and if y'all have seen this before, y'all know what I'm talking about. The Lord doesn't give you a spirit of fear. When you are operating with him, the reason why it's important for you to know that the Lord does not give you a spirit of fear is because when he reveals certain things to you about certain people, he does not want you to be afraid of what you are seeing on this person. It's something undescribable and unexplainable when it comes to the spiritual realms. Okay, some people are on high ranking levels with their evilness and their wickedness out here. And they are upping the ante with their deception. They turn in the heat up so that people are not going to be able to decipher and see through their deception of what they are putting out here. Okay, they up in the ante. Everything is out here in the open now. Nothing is hidden. That's why. You should always be heavy on your discernment, heavy on testing the fruits of the spirit when it comes to certain people, even behind their influence. Test the spirit behind their influence of what they are putting out. Because a lot of these spirits out here, they're using their influence in an evil, wicked kind of way. They are upping the ante so that they are not going to be detected. They don't want to be detected. These people already know that the Lord is making his rounds with his judgment of certain things that they are out here doing to people. Okay. This thing is about a multitudes. Okay. The Lord has seen the wickedness that these people have been partaking in behind the scenes and he is making his rounds with their judgment. These people that has been being used by these spirits. 
they are feeling regretful. They are feeling guilty about certain things that they have done to people. And so some of these spirits know that at some day they are going to have their judgment for what they have done. The misleading influence that they have been putting out here in the world by the multitudes to certain people, a certain spirit that is behind their messages. The Lord is saying they hard and they intend behind why they put out certain things to certain people. And they are going to up the ante. They are going to be coming up with more craftier kind of ways to try to deceive people. So the people are not going to be able to see through what they are doing and what they are putting out in the world. This is why I have said on my channel plenty of times that when I come and say the Lord does not give you a spirit of fear. I really do mean that wholeheartedly because when you are operating with the Lord and you I have been called to do something, you are not going to care what these evil spirits are going to be trying to come up with. You are not going to care what type of tactics they are going to be putting out here to try to stop you. Now, when I say up in the ante, some of these spirits that are operating in a camouflage metamorphic kind of facade, they are going to be using a lot of intimidation tactics to stop you from exposing that, that spirit on them. This spirit does not want to be exposed. This spirit has been hiding behind a lot of people for however long, have been operating comfortably in this person's vessel. And so now that the Lord is about to make his rounds to send out that judgment to these people who have been letting this spirit use them, it's that time. I've been wanting to make a message about this for months now, but today was the day that I was going to talk about this. But a lot of y'all are seeing this stuff happen. You're seeing it unfold. A lot of these spirits, they have been using these people. Some of them are hiding comfortably behind these people. Okay. I said on my channel before that some of these spirits have a intensity level to their wickedness and their evilness. Some of them have more strength than others. And so you may notice that some spirits have a hold on certain people to where they have gotten comfortable. Okay. It's no different than, I'm going to use a certain analogy so y'all can better see this. It's just no different than a person being hooked on alcohol throughout the entire life. This spirit this demonic entity has taken over this person's vessel for a long time. They have gotten comfortable. Okay, we basically talking about inner evil spirits, demons, and all that type of stuff. So this spirit has took resting place inside of this person, and they are not ready to leave. Okay, so those ones to where you are going to notice it. And I hope that y'all are really seeing this on the spiritual level. I know my spiritual ones on the channel, they know exactly what I'm talking about. But... These high rank kind of evil spirits that have been operating in certain people for a long period of time, they're not going to want to release themselves from this person. Okay? They are going to continue hiding behind this person. And while they are doing so, they are going to be coming up with more crafty ways to keep deceiving people, even deceiving the person that they are using. Okay? This is how deep this thing is going out here in the spiritual. And so... Some of these spirits are going to be relentless, ruthless, okay, when it comes to the intimidation tactics that they are going to be using. They do not want to be exposed, okay? They want to continue using this person for their wicked agenda. And I'm talking about for the multitudes, of people, not just one person, multitudes of people. The Lord is going to be sending out his judgment to the people who has not been following him, people who has not been praying to him, people who is really not rooted in a relationship with him. The Lord is out here sending his judgment out to people. Okay. I said before, the Lord says, have no other gods before me. Okay. And so when it comes to the intimidation tactics that this enemy is going to be using out here with this influence is not going to be anything of what you see out here worldly. Okay. 
it's going to be all having to do with beliefs, religion, influence, good and evil. The Lord wants to know who really is walking with him, who has a belief in him. The Lord already know who following him and who not. Okay. If you are putting someone on a high pedestal in today's day, if you don't see already, the Lord is going to be making his rounds. And you are going to start to see that these people are up in the ante with their intimidation tactics to stop certain people that the Lord is using from coming to expose them. The enemy is always going to try to put fear in you to stop you from exposing him. The enemy wants you to fear him. Okay. And the Lord says, fear ye not. The Lord does not give you a spirit of fear. That's why you have no qualms or no question about exposing him. When it reaches a certain level to where these spirits have gotten comfortable. And I mean, when I say playing in the Lord face, playing in the Lord face, so heavy and strong, you're having a good old time doing it, laughing and cookie he he in behind the scenes. That is a different kind of weakness and spiritual warfare that can go on for videos and series and series and series. Okay. I can't even get into all of that right now, but these spirits out here that are using these people, they're going to be operating more. They're going to be coming to the forefront more. They're going to be revealed through these people. You are going to be able to look at certain people and see the spirit on them and not the person it's going to be almost as if they physical appearance is not there all you see is that spirit on them okay any physical aspects and forms of this person is going to be non-existing and when this spirit take root when this spirit up the ante on them when this spirit wants to come show itself they're going to come and show up and show out they're going to be coming with the big guns. So for spiritual warriors out here that is rooted in their relationship with the Lord and rooted in their Bible and their word and their prayer, I'm telling you, a lot of y'all are blindsided out here. Y'all do not have no clue of what is going on out here. And that is what is scary because the enemy is operating freely in front of y'all face. The enemy is out here playing in a lot of y'all faces when it comes to being on this walk with the Lord. Playing in y'all face. Doing a lot of wicked, evil hearted things behind the scenes and feeling like they're going to be able to get away with it. They're going to up the ante. They, they already out here doing it. It's on a different level and only the spiritual ones on my channel understand what I'm talking about. This ain't no mumbo jumbo talk. This ain't no crazy talk. This is real life. This is spiritual warfare on a totally different level than anything that I have probably came on my channel and talked about. I really hope that y'all can see and understand what I'm talking about. In these times, you are going to be sorry. If you don't have a strong relationship with the Lord in these times, I really don't know what else to say. I don't have any words of advice to give to the people that's not really out here walking with him. And I'm talking about the people out here that's taking in certain information. If you've been talking to the Lord, if you've been praying to the Lord, if you've been in your word heavy and strong and you are questioning certain people, you know, without a shadow of doubt that you see certain spirits on certain people, you know, that the spirit that is using them is not godly at all. I really wanted to come and say this because the enemy is going to be using all different types of intimidation tactics to stop the ones from exposing them. Okay. Some of these spirits have took resting place inside of these people. I said in my video where I talked about spiritually dead people, where I said once a spirit gets rooted in a person, when you try to rid yourself of certain spirits, inner demons, so to speak, when you let go of certain things, and I'm just going to use the analogy. You're trying to give up alcohol. You're trying to give up smoking. You're trying to give up a life of fornication. I'm just going to use this in, in this instance to where y'all can see this. This spirit is going to put up a fight with you, especially if they have been a part of your life for an extremely long time, depending on what sin you have been operating in unknowingly and knowingly. And the spirits that I'm talking about in this video, these are knowing spirits. These people know very well 
that they are attached to some ungodly forces. They keep trying to cover themselves up, thinking that nobody see them for who they are. You are always going to see when you are operating with the Lord for real. And y'all know, I ain't never come to tell no lie about nothing. When you are operating fully with the Lord, and I'm say all the time, we are not perfect. But when you are operating fully with the Lord and you know what he has brought you through, you know what he has revealed to you. You know certain things that he has showed you. You can see a spirit using certain people. You can see when the enemy is using certain intimidation tactics to shut your mouth. Okay? You are going to know. That certain spirits have took root in certain people's lives and they have gotten comfortable in their wickedness. Okay, they are really using this person. It's so sad the way I'm explaining it, but when it comes to talking about spirituality and things like that, when it comes to emotions and things of that nature, that got to go on the back burner because when it comes to your life and your faith and your walk, this is nothing to play with. This is really nothing to play with. When you see people out here being deceived left and right, that the multitudes, it's going to bother you. It's going to make you feel some type of way. It's going to make you feel the way to see people out here being deceived. Okay? But all you can do is pray for strength. All you can do is pray to the Lord to keep revealing people. Keep strengthening your relationship with him. Stay in your word. Stay in your word. Because a lot of these spirits out here that are using people that you would never even think that they are using. And I can't lie to you about it. Spirits that you would never even think is using certain people. You will come to find that they are using these certain people. And we ain't talking about the wicked spirits that you can see clear as day. We talking about the ones that are using certain people out here in the body of Christ, okay? And we talking about precisely using certain people. People been out here playing in the Lord's face, operating comfortably and knowingly in their wickedness. The Lord is making his rounds and they out here up in the ante on everything. They coming out with all the stops to get away with bloody murder out here in the spiritual realms. They are going to come at you guns blazing with their intimidation tactics. And you are going to be there every single time to let them know I am walking with the Lord and the Lord does not give me a spirit of fear, baby. I am going to come and expose any wicked spirits that I see. And there is nothing that you can do to stop me from exposing you. You can use every intimidation tactic that you got in your book. Okay. I don't care if you come up with any and every crafty way to try to close my mouth to stop from exposing you. As long as I got the power and strength in me and the Lord on my side, I don't fear none of these spirits. Okay. I thought about that one. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to end it off on this note. I don't know if y'all ever seen the movie Medea Goes to Jail where they was getting off the bus. They was finna go get processed into jail and Medea walking through the hall and all the inmates talking loud. So she's talking about saying, yeah, yeah, I ain't scared of none of you. I ain't scared of none of you, okay? That's how your energy got to be out here. And when it comes to spotting this spiritual warfare, you got to get in Medea kind of energy. Yeah, I ain't scared of none of you. None of you, Okay. I ain't scared of none of these spirits, none of these wicked, evil, demonic kind of spirits that are coming up with all these different intimidation tactics, these craftiness to stop you from exposing them. I ain't scared of none of you. Okay. But yeah, that's just how I'm going to end the message right there. So hopefully y'all got the gist of this message. Hopefully it helped you in some way. Continue to protect your soul and spirit. And I will talk to y'all in the next video.